Okay, so I want to address a very important topic. It's one that certainly is unpopular and not often discussed, but I'm going to discuss it. And it's one of those areas that I deal with or have dealt with in my relationship counseling um, consulting that I do. And it is in the area of men being the dominating uh, domesticators as it relates to domestic violence. And though over the years this has been true, commonly, yes, men typically are the ones who have been, of course, most labeled or most reported in a sense about domestic violence. But what I know to be true is that there are a lot of women who are abusers as well. So if we don't think that men deal with abuse from women, it's not true. And I'm not talking about weak men either. Some men have been raised a certain way not to put their hands on women, not to disrespect them, you know, in a certain way, uh, to be overly uh, insensitive or, um, I should say, or to be even um, oppressive or offensive. But you do have women who have some different types of tendencies, and some of them have been in um, domestic relationships or they have uh, grown up in that type of environment and they end up hurling that type of behavior out on men, even really good men who would never put their hands on them. But for some reason, they think that that's a safe place to be able to um, vent out whatever they feel or act that anger out and they're supposed to be just accepted because that abuse has become a way of being. So though... Of course, men definitely over the years have gotten the bigger label in terms of that. And I definitely, even in my younger years, actually dealt with, you know, something around that area. But one thing I do know, and when I say dealt with, meaning <laughs> I had it done to me, okay? Um, but I do know that there are women who, who certainly are very aggressive or what I call too sometimes silent killers in a sense. And when I call them silent killers, meaning they are decapitating um, men and slowly devaluing them in ways for them to feel less than being a man. So I, I want to talk about this. And I actually have a series that I'm doing that's called the Unmasked Relationship Factor Series. And I'll actually link um, the playlist uh, to that series below. But being able to address different relationship types of dynamics. But I really want to talk about this, you know, particular one. Because, again, this is unpopular in terms of the amount of women who actually are abusive. And then there are some who actually have never been abused in terms of phys uh, the physical aspect by a man even growing up in that type of environment. But somehow they feel a sense of entitlement to be honored and treated a certain way to the point that if they don't get their way, they will act it out for, for whatever reason. And again, when they study a man to know that no matter how tough he is or he seems, they know, well, he's not going to um, hit me or, or address or injure me or, or address me in a certain way. You know, now he may tell me off, cuss me out or do some things like that. But even that, they're not having that. So you would be surprised at the, the number of men behind the scenes who are literally what I call suffocating in silence, suffering in silence and not telling that their female actually is assaulting them and handling them, you know, a certain way. And though they may go to toe, toe, toe to toe with arguing and different things like that, but the man will not put his hands, you know, on that woman. But what's interesting too, but at the same time, won't leave her, you know. So there's a lot of different dynamics, you know, around that. But my thing is, I want to say to any man, if a woman puts her hands on you and you have not assaulted her, I mean, you could have cussed her out, you could have called her out of her name you could have said a whole lot of different things but if she assaults you and especially not just physically with her hands but with a weapon with something you know you need to you need to leave that relationship i definitely don't recommend you rising up to try to um 
hit her or so because the laws in a sense don't really work in your favor you know in that way but i will say this i'm going to say this to the females if you if you think you're bold enough and bad enough to assault a man who is literally not assaulting you it hasn't hit you first or so if he knocks the fecal matter out of you that's on you okay that that's on you because some things you have to realize not just in terms of because a man is stronger but you you just shouldn't even be going there and if you're getting angry enough or you feel like you have so many issues and problems that you have to take it out on a person who's not doing that to you you need to go get some help some serious help okay because it's interesting how there's a double standard okay and like i said for someone this has been many eons eons years ago okay because that's something i don't play you can put your hands on me because <laughs> because i'm likely to, to to go there with you too you know but when i was younger i had to learn that lesson that you know don't have something in you that has um, a man or anyone thinking that they can um, assault you or do domestic stuff or address you you know a certain way right but at the same time i'm never going to be someone going around just going to pick some pick a fight and bully with a man when well, let alone anybody but it's definitely definitely not a man all right but at the same time don't come to me because you can get handled um so you know watch yourself but anyway <laughs> i'm joking kind of um but on another note is that females you you don't need to be trying to buck up against a man and if he's calling you out of your name and he's doing a whole lot of different things you need to leave that relationship there are better ways to handle it and though it's easier said than done you have to make some decisions and get out ahead of it you got to decide who you're going to be before certain things blow up all right but back to the lecture at hand in terms of um men being labeled of being the ones who are very aggressive and the domesticators you know if you will and again a large of that large number of that is still very true at least that's what's reported but like i said i see and know things behind the scenes for sure in terms of there are a lot of men who are really i mean they're dealing with it and they don't necessarily want to leave the relationship um and not because they're scared it's, it's not even the thing of people being scared I think it's just one of those areas where men have not come to honor themselves a certain way as being the kings that they are and wanting to take the high road, so to speak, and to be, um, you know, the better man. Because sometimes they play to their ego as well and say, well, you know, I've already told myself this is the type of person I'm going to be in the relationship. I'm going to be the ride and die person. I'm going to be there for them, you know, no matter what. Um yeah, but sometimes there, there's a line. You have to have boundaries. But the minute, as we tell, or I would tell any woman, for sure, and what we tell in society, if a man puts his hands on you, 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 you need to leave that relationship. And you need to make sure that you have um, gotten the best type of protection or so for him to stay away or whatever, whatnot. But again, it applies to men too. If a woman hits you one time and then they'll say well you know one time maybe you maybe can let it slide i don't know today because the thing about it, if you stick around she can hit you with a weapon she can hit you with something else don't ever underestimate the power of a female when she's upset or when she's in yeah she's in a certain zone liable to do anything i think you need to be more afraid of her <laughs> than than uh, the vice versa you know in a sense but you know I don't, i'm laughing but i don't really want to make light you know of this is that sometimes men can underestimate and just say okay well she's hitting me she's this is yes it hurt and everything but it's not really doing anything i can tough that out and get it over no because you can get hit in one area that could seriously damage you or it may not impact you right now but something may show up later just just based on scratches based on however you don't know so you you definitely need to just leave that situation but my thing is you have to ask yourself why am i in this situation why am i here why am i allowing myself to be bullied or even handled a certain way you know by a female you know wh why am i allowing this 
again, we, we go through this process with women and counseling, and I counsel them, you know, as well, um, on multiple levels. But those are the things that we chronically emphasize. You know, you need to love yourself. We need to find out, you know, why this is going on, why you've allowed this, and how you move forward, you know, from here, and don't allow it to happen again. But there are men who need that same, you know, that same type of attention because they're in what we think are very unique situations. But what you don't really realize because it's not heavily reported is it's not actually that unique and uncommon anymore. And couples fighting, that's kind of like a normal thing or has been over the last 20 years. But the going back and forth, which lots of them do, but you would be surprised how many men, they don't mention it, they don't tell it, or they casually joke about it, but they are really dealing with being in abusive, toxic relationships, all right? But, you know, it's time out for that. It's time out for the violence on all levels. But I will say to females, you know, you need to reassess for sure. And especially when you have men in your world, nobody's perfect. You're not perfect. They're not perfect. When you have men in your world that are treating you um, well, and, and maybe they're not treating you as the best that you want to be, but who are you being in order to, to get that type of treatment? And then if he's not treating you a certain way, then you need to move on. But you don't need to start thinking that you can handle a man or even putting yourself in a position to think, I'm going to have the upper hand here. You can have the upper hand, in a sense, but at the same time, having the upper hand and using your hands or something else, that's a whole different thats a whole different set of circumstances. All right? See, when you're a majesty, majesty can command and just be without having to get physical or assault. They'll just know to fall in line. <laughs> anyway, I'm joking, kind of. But, yeah, so back to, again, the lecture at hand around this. This is a very serious topic, so I really want to address it. And like I said, I have a series, um, The Unmasked, and I'm in my unmasked, you know, mode during that particular series where I'm not just uh, talking about this particular aspect, but I do actually start off even in the intro um, segment where I am actually addressing this and just shining the light, bringing more awareness that there definitely are men who are going through. And I just want to encourage them. Listen, you two need to love yourself. Again, we give this counseling and I do it to women, how they need to honor and appreciate themselves more. But I'm saying that you do too. Because if you're not someone who's doing assaulting or doing things that cause people to even be provoked to assault, then, you know, you, you need to honor yourself and you need to move forward. As they say, there's plenty of fishes, you know, in the sea, so to speak. You Or be by yourself for a while because you need to really reassess why are you dealing with that level of this caliber of an individual, all right? Women, we, we supposed to have <clears throat> some class about us for sure. Again, we don't have to allow men to walk over us and fall into stereotypes too that we need to just fall in line a certain way um, but at the same time, you don't need to be being that type of woman that's aggressive like that, that will actually raise up and start trying to be aggressive and fight or get mad at a man because he's done X, Y, and Z. Again, if anybody causes you to be provoked to the point of violence, you need to dip. You, you need to dip, bottom line, both ways. If anybody can bring you to that level, it is time to say bye. It's time to part ways. But from just a relationship uh, perspective is you have to find who's going to be most aligned and most compatible with your core values. But you have to know what your core values are and you have to establish some boundaries, right? Long before you get into relationships. That's the thing with people. They actually don't do that, right? So then that's where misunderstandings come in. That's where character issues come in. And then stuff breaks down. And people who normally would probably not get violent with one another and aggressive with one another, they create the potential for that to happen, you know, just based on misalignments. So 
um, I just want to talk about this. <laughs> I'll, I'll do another video around this, but you know, leave uh, a comment below or so if you've ever dealt, you know, with this, or you know, of men who are in those types of situations and you've probably tried to help them or so and maybe have not been as successful or maybe you have but share that wisdom and knowledge with other people so other people can be liberated they can be educated okay so this isn't just about me coming forth just to share the message that i have to share in my background and and different teachings and things that i have around this we're in this together so I want you to definitely share, yes, your experiences so that other people can benefit, you know, from that. So I'll be back with more videos, um, even of this nature, but I definitely want to just share on this topic. And I want to encourage any man who is going through um, relationship challenges right now with females who are hostile in any shape, form, or fashion. It's like, be done with that, okay? And if you need some help, help is available all right but you got to start making some moves away from that situation but at the same time be the best you don't do things that provoke stuff you know don't say things that could potentially get you slapped or get you harmed or do you know just crazy off the wall things but at the same time regardless of what it doesn't merit you being hit are you you know doing that either getting yourself to the point where you potentially could do that so yeah, so I just wanted to share that, alright? So I'll be back with more videos soon.